This is the Husk Slim Wallet. It's got three pockets. Take a look. Welcome to Walletopia. I'm not going to say anything. Let's just open up this wallet. This is the Husk Slim model. And uh, it is designed in the UK. Anyway, well, let's get into it. It comes in this nice little envelope. If we open it, pull this open here in the back. Pull this out of here. Tissue paper. And we open it up. Let's take a look here. It's another pull tab and a elastic one at that. Let's see the sewing on this. It's folded, it's one piece folded over and sewn on this edge, which gives us our opening here. Very nice. Now let's do a feature review of the Husk Slim wallet. On the front, we have a quick access card slot here. You can put cash in here, I'm sure, as well. As we go into the top, we have our top down. This is where cards go in and you could probably get you know three four cards in here I imagine as well as the ability through this pull strap to eject the cards and this is an elastic pull strap so it retracts it doesn't require the cards going in in order to retract it and as we go to the back underneath that we have yet another quick access card slot here and that is a review of the features of the Husk Slim Wallet. Now onto the card and cash insertion test As you saw, I got seven cards and three slips of cash in here. The company says you can have up to 10 cards plus cash. It's not likely this will break in due to uh, RFD lining, so kind of be aware of that. Yeah, RFD. Yeah, okay, we get it. Yeah. Uh, it is designed in London, like I said, it's made in China. And this particular model is made of crazy horse leather. Fine. <clears throat> and again, the RFID material. Jeez, the crowd doesn't like this tonight. Now, the reports of the lining tearing and the elastic pulling strap failing are out there, uh, so be aware of that. Now the price is $19, which is a fantastic price, and it's very easy to use with the three slots. It's really not hard to figure out. It measures four inches by 2.8 by 0.2 inches thin. Now they have a money back guarantee. It's a small family run organization, and the support appears very responsive. So I don't think there's a concern there. So now let's get into the final score. For quality, three. For price, a four. Features, three usability of 4 and perception of 3. That gives us a final score of 35 out of 50. Thanks for watching us again. Look at these videos. See if they interest you. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.